Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a room tour. Ah. I'm not gonna say this was highly requested or long awaited because it hasn't been. I have had people say that they like my room though and they would like me to do a room tour. And honestly, I've always wanted to do a room tour. I never really felt a purpose in doing it because really nobody was watching my videos when I first was making videos back at my old apartment. But I feel like a special attachment to this room. This is my first like room that I've had. I mean, obviously this isn't a bedroom. This is just a room that I have for filming, for my makeup and for my altar space and stuff. And I've never had just a room dedicated in my house with my boyfriend that I had my own stuff. So I absolutely love this. And I kind of just want to remember having this space and I want to film this, not just for the people who have asked for it, but for myself as well, to be able to just look back on living here because we're moving in November and we're more likely than not downsizing. We're probably going to get a two bedroom bedroom apartment versus our three bedroom house that we have now. So I just want to remember all the time that I spent here. I hope everything is good as far as seeing everything. I filmed this really with just the natural light that was coming in my room just because I thought it was bright enough. So I hope you can see everything. The only time that I whipped out my light was to film inside where I keep my jewelry just because it was really dark in there. Um, so I hope you can see everything. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, but I tried my best. I've really never filmed kind of like a vlog style before. Like I'm just used to talking to a camera and I honestly never even know if it looks good because I'm never looking at the viewfinder. I'm always just staring at the camera. So I hope it comes out okay. And you guys, could see everything um, but without further ado here is my room tour anytime I'm in my room hi okay guys I'm gonna start by doing a 360 of the room if you are just walking in this is what it looks like I have a little seat right there kind of just hangs out in the middle of the room also in the middle of the room I have this like air purifier just because I want to make sure the air is nice and clean for my hamster but this is what it looks like and I obviously don't sleep in here there's no bed this is just a room because we had an extra room and I have a lot of makeup and clothes and stuff so my boyfriend let me have this extra room and he has his own large space in the finished basement so Yes, let me start in the corner, I guess. This is where you walk in. This is the door to my room that goes out to the hallway. Um, down here on the handle, I just have like this little broom. I thought it was cute and it goes well there. Um, and then I have this backpack. This is just like a backpack I take with me. I used to take this when I was freelancing with just some random stuff in it. And I also take it now like if I'm staying overnight somewhere. Then I have this little bonnet thing I wear in the shower if I don't want my hair to get wet. Um, and I also have this pretty moon phase. I think it's supposed to be a wind chime. I found it in the wind chime section at TJ Maxx, but um, I just use it as wall decoration. And then there's this little area here where my light switch and the switch for the fan are. I just have this foam roller here. I use this for my back when I stretch every night. And then I also have this really beautiful dream catcher. If you guys saw my last video, this is from the subscription box Wolf in Time. It just fit perfectly here. I immediately knew I was going to put it here when I got it. So that's where it's living now. And then here is my closet. So it's pretty small. That's why I basically have this room because there's the same exact size in our bedroom and my boyfriend's stuff is in that one. I'll open it up quick and show you guys what I have in here. Hopefully you can see everything. Um, it's a little dark and with all my stuff clearly very dark, but on the top left, I have a bunch of shoes. These are mostly boots and stuff, like ones that I'm not wearing because it's still the summer. Here is my little freelance kit when I used to freelance and do makeup. Um, I also have like a little graduation bear my mom got me when I graduated college. It just kind of sits up there because I don't know what to do with it. Then I have like tank tops and workout clothes, um, pants, any types of like pants and shorts are all here. And then in this corner is all t-shirts. I have a good amount of t-shirts, but I just like piled them all up there. And then here is just all of my summer clothes. Again, this is just summer. All of my winter stuff is packed um, in bins underneath our spare bed. Then down here, well, in the back, I have like a bunch of junk that I just have to like sell or get rid of. I'm a little bit of a hoarder. Like I get hung up on things and I don't want to get rid of them, but I really do because I'm trying to be more minimalistic. But these are all of my summer shoes and sneakers that I have. Like I said, most of my boots are like up there and packed away um, but a lot of my shoes that I have are down here like different types of sandals and different types of sneakers so that is my little closet that I have I had to keep pausing because my dog keeps barking but I'm gonna give a quick overview of 
my little altar space thing. And I got this cabinet, by the way, off of Amazon. I think it was like only 60 or 70 bucks or something. It's pretty cheap. Um, but starting up here, I have this calendar that has all the phases of the moon for the year 2020. I believe I got this off of Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. I just think it's really nice to have. It's really pretty. And it's a good reference because like this is where I do most of my work. And it's nice to just look up and see what the phases of the moon is going to be for whatever I'm doing at that time. So next I have my book of shadows. I have some sprays, Florida water. This is a tarot deck. I actually don't use the deck that's in here. It's the large side of the large size of the radiant white rider weight. Oh my God. Try to say that five times fast, <laughs> but I have that there. This is some CBD lotion. I also have some CBD oil. I actually don't like this tincture. It's like really nasty. I honestly don't see a purpose of CBD right now. I haven't seen the benefits of it personally for myself. This is like my first time trying it, but let me know if you guys like CBD and your thoughts on it. I just personally don't really have an opinion that much just because I feel like I haven't noticed that much of a difference. Um, I might need like a different milligrams or anything like that, but now I'm getting off on a tangent. That is just what that is. Then I have some crystals and such. I have my cauldron and I also have a black tourmaline and a selenite. I just like keeping them here. It just like kind of balances out in my opinion. I like the way it looks aesthetically. Then I have an oil diffuser and then I also have a spell or a chime candle holder as well as a candle snuffer. The little thing that I have on is actually a um, incense stick burner. You put the sticks in there. It's kind of like supposed to be like a flower but it actually fit my incense or my candle snuffer absolutely perfectly so it doesn't get wax all over my cabinet so i thought that was perfect and then i have here this little lantern to hold my seven day candles if you guys watch my candle magic video you know that i like to keep my candles burning the entire time during the entire spell so i don't like to snuff them or put them out i keep them going for the entire time and this just makes sure that it's like fireproof and it's safe and i'm not gonna have something tip over and then be you know a hazard so that is the top all right, I hope you guys could see this and I apologize that everything is so freaking dusty, but like if you have black or like dark colored furniture, you know how dusty this stuff gets and it gets so dusty so fast. So I am sorry about the mess. It just like stays like that all the time. So over here I have a um, lighter, then I have two pendulums. One is serpentine and the other, I believe this is obsidian. Oops, it's stuck under that box back there. I believe this is obsidian. I got this in a subscription box, so I don't really remember what it was, but I bought this one myself at a new age shop and I know it's serpentine. Then I have this little candle. Next to it is this oil burner. It's one of the ones that you put a tea light candle in the back and it burns the oil on top. So I like using that. Then I have this box That's where I keep all my spell candles. Um, in the back there, I just have some like random stuff from subscription boxes, like different ritual kits and stuff that I haven't got around to using. Then I have this um, singing bowl. This is the one that I got from Goddess Provisions. Here I have a Palo Santo room spray. I think I got that off of Etsy as well. And then in the back here, I have this little box of um, rocks. I like pick up rocks or like shells that I find interesting and I keep them. Actually, let me just show you. So this is what the box looks like and inside, like I said, I just have a bunch of little rocks and seashells and stuff that I've collected just like from places I go or like ones that I think look cool. So they just live in there. I'm gonna have to get another box by the way because this is like totally full. So this is the next shelf. Down here I have the smoky quartz moon phase stones that I got from Goddess Provisions and it's looking extra crusty dusty here. Sorry about that. <laughs> then I have these stones here. I just like put a bunch of them on this little wooden stand that I got. I think it's supposed to be like a charcuterie board or whatever you call it. I don't know. I don't use it for that. I need to hold my crystals. In the back I have um, my rune stones in this little velvet bag. You probably can't see. I have some astrology dice and then in the back I have chakra stones. So you're supposed to meditate with them on top of your chakras to do like a chakra meditation. Whew. I'm talking so much like my mouth is dry now. So down at the bottom of this cabinet, there are doors and you're going to see why I keep this all shut because it is a total mess back here. So this is what it looks like when it's open. I have just like a stupid amount of stuff shoved back here. So in the back, I have different tarot and oracle decks in their boxes. In the front here, I have other tarot and oracle decks in bags. Then I have some 
notebooks and journals. I have some stones and stuff back there that I use for like jewelry making and stuff. Up here, I have some different types of essential oils, roller balls. Um, and then up front, I have like pens, um, different types of tea light candles. I have these really cool tongs that have the triple moon goddess. Where is it? These tongs have the triple moon goddess symbol on them. I use these for the charcoal discs um, to pick it up when I am using loose incense in my cauldron, which also has the triple moon goddess symbol on it. So I thought it went together super well to have the cauldron and then the matching tongs. So I just keep these down here. And then on the bottom, it is a mess, mostly of like scented things. So things I use for my incense. I have a bunch of incense sticks and cones here along with some loose incense down there. On the bottom here, I have all of my taper candles. And then in the front, these are just those bleeding taper candles. I got them honestly all for aesthetic purposes. I thought they would look really cool and I've never gotten around to using them. Back here, I have other types of stones for jewelry making that I keep saying I'm gonna get around to and then I just never do. <laughs> then I have, um, the rope incense that I got in the Crystal Council box, some Palo Santo, and then plant therapy almond oil. That's just a carrier oil if I want to wear the oils topically. And then in here, just some like big candles and stuff. So that's that. Down here, I just have um, the charcoal discs and then a little random tester candle that I got from Sephora. Okay, you guys, so this corner is a little random. I just fixed this one because it's about to fall over, but this is where I keep my essential oils. I put this in my Amazon favorites video. Um, down here is just some like random documents. There's some jewelry in here that I don't wear. And then this one here is empty right now, but I use this to transport my some of my crystals when we were moving, just because the ones that were a little bit more fragile, I would wrap and put in there so they weren't like clinking around together. And then this here is super random. It is just vintage baseball cards. <laughs> they used to be my brother's and my family didn't want to just like throw them out. So we we're gonna see if maybe we can like sell them or something, but they've honestly become super helpful to me because every time I film, I have to sit on that because I'm too short with my tripod and it would just like be too much dead space on the top. So I sit on that now every single time I film. So I don't know, it has a purpose now and I'm probably gonna keep it. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory. This is my hamper. Um, it is so ugly, I understand this, but honestly we got them when we were living in an apartment complex and they have wheels on the back. Let me show you guys, it's like the coolest thing. So you put it down, there's a thing that you pull up here and you can drag it with you, which is so helpful if you live in an apartment complex where it doesn't have an in-unit washer dryer because we had to drag our stuff all the way to the other side of the apartment complex. So super practical, very ugly, but I still have it because we're most likely going to move back to an apartment after this. Then I have this mirror and I look crazy today. This is my day off, so I'm gonna look this way. And I have a little poop emoji <laughs> thing here that my boyfriend got me. This mirror is not just a mirror, but it also is where I keep my jewelry. I'll show you guys quick inside. Okay, I was trying not to use a light for this just because there's so much natural light, but it was just too dark in here. So I grabbed a light from my camera, but these are my dangly earrings. I keep them all here. All of my stud earrings are over here. I don't have that many. That's where they are. Then down here I have different necklaces. And up there are rings. These little two down here are cheerleading state championship rings. I did cheerleading my freshman and sophomore year of high school. And we won state championships both years, so they're there. Then I have more dangly necklaces here. And then honestly, just like random jewelry throughout the rest of it, like body jewelry and other things. But that is where I keep most of my jewelry, my daily rings and stuff I keep on my vanity, but that's where the rest are. So that is my jewelry armoire thing that I have. Down here, I have my hamster supplies because I have a Roborowski Dwarf Hamster. I also have this huge, oh, I totally missed this here. I have this really pretty um, moon phase mirror design thing that I got from Kohl's, I believe. I got it on like Kohl's.com. How can I forget that? It's so pretty, I love that. Um, but on this wall, I have this um, kind of like a inspired tarot looking tapestry that I got from Wish. It was super cheap, but I think it looks really nice. So I just keep that up there. Next is this whole situation here that holds more clothes because the closet is definitely too small for everything I have. Um, I'll start over here. 
I have my Himalayan salt lamp, which this stays on like 24 seven. I've had to change the bulb a couple times just because you know, it's on all the time. So it's burned out, I think twice um, since having it. But this stays on 24 seven, which is probably a bad idea because you shouldn't keep things on. But I do, I think it looks nice. I like having a like night light in the room. We also have a Himalayan salt night light in the bathroom that stays on 24 seven. We just like the way it looks and it's nice to have like a little consistent light just in case you get up in the middle of the night. Then I have a selenite tower and then I have a candle. What is this one? Yankee Candle Autumn Gathering. Clearly, I don't care that it's still summer because mm, it smells so good. Fall is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> then I have this lotion. This is just like a melatonin, a melatonin lotion that you can put on before bed. I also have a sleep um, aromatherapy and a stress relief one. These are from Bath and Body Works and some more seven day candles. Then this is just like a leaf design thing. I think my sister got that from Ikea, but she gave that to me. Next is my hamster's cage. I guess you could say cage, it's her tank. I have a 20 gallon tank for my little robo dwarf. She's definitely sleeping right now, but this is what her little cage looks like. That wasn't a fart, that was the floors. <laughs> They're so creaky, but she's in her little house right now. Um, but this is her thing. Hello MTV, welcome to my crib. Over here you guys, I have some Candle holders, this is what I burn my taper candles in. In the back here, I have a wax melter. You guys might have seen that in my Amazon favorites video. Here I have a smudge spray that I made. It has clear quartz in it. I'm just testing it out still. I would love to sell these one day and like put them on a shop. My boyfriend and I actually have a shop right now. Um, we sell different like bath products and soaps and stuff. Um, so maybe, maybe this might go on there one day if it passes my test, but right now it's in the trial phases. So keep an eye out for that. That might be in the shop one day. And if I do, I will let you guys know. Over here, I have some pens because I sit and I journal here. I just kind of like throw the pens over there. And then I keep my headphones here because I usually edit sitting right here. <laughs> and then here is where I keep my daily tarot deck. Um, I painted this and I got this from Michaels. You might see this a lot in the background of my videos. I just have a chair in the corner along with some, these are fake up here. These are fake vines. That is a real plant though that is slowly dying because I can't keep anything alive. I'm like just really trying now to get my green thumb but it's very hard for me. But up here I have some different stones. Again, I have like a lot of stones from all the subscription boxes that I get and just from buying some myself. I just love displaying them, it makes me so happy. And then I have just like an Oracle deck that I use frequently that I keep there just because I sit here a lot along with some wax melters up there. Then I have this huge tapestry back here. I actually was gonna get rid of this before I moved here. This was the tapestry I had on my bed when I was in college and on my walls. And I just feel like I outgrew it, but then it matched perfectly to these walls. I could not not hang it up. So that's why I still have this. I probably will get rid of this once we move though. Um, it's still really pretty though, nonetheless. Then I have this light here. I just use this because if I didn't have this, it's like totally dark back here and I couldn't like journal, I couldn't read at night. Um, so I added this little light and I'm obsessed with it. I love the way that it looks and I definitely will keep that. Then I have this little chair that I got from Walmart years ago. I've had that in my room. My childhood home room had this chair, so it's been through a lot with me along with this Ouija pillow that I got from, I think it was Spirit Halloween. Behind my chair, I have some filming equipment, different lights and stuff like that. Underneath, I have some ankle weights. I guess I put my ankle weights there. I don't remember doing that. Um, and then I have a coloring book. Um, another sketchbook and then down here is just like some art supplies. So I have some watercolor paints. I have um, colored pencils. Sorry, my finger, it's focusing on that. I'm pointing too much. Um, but that is more like little art supplies that I use just to like kill time and like relieve stress. Over here, I have some random stuff. I have some um, date books, my journal, my planner. These are Crystal Council things. I use these to type in my ebook of shadows that I have. I just keep a list on Google Docs of all the stones that I have and all the metaph uh, metaphysical properties of them. So I just keep these just so I can write exactly what it says down. Then here is my laptop. This is my window. I have an AC here. It's off and I'm really hot right now. It's just really loud and I didn't want it to be annoying. I have a candle going here. This is like the nicest smelling candle, you guys. It is the charcoal candle from Apotheke. We sell them at my job and they are just so warm and like amazing smelling. If you go get one of these, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And then I have my 
incense burner here. Down here, it's a little bit of a cluster, but I have my yoga mat. I have some candles that I use often in here. The rest of my candles are out in the living room, um, but these are just some that I use a lot in my room. And then I just got this oil diffuser and it's kind of just sitting there until I find it a home. I had to change my battery and my dog decided she wanted to come in. So she's just gonna hang out here for the rest of the video. I think before my camera died, this is where I left off. This is the corner of the room that you never see just because I sit here and I film. So this is my makeup collection. Basically I have my whole vanity and I'm going to do a separate makeup collection and storage video. So that should be the next video that I put out. But if I put it in this one, it'd be way too long, but I'll just do a quick overview of everything. So on the top here, I have most of my lip stuff is in these clear Muji drawers. Then I have my hair tool that I use basically every day. It just sits out there so it could cool down and I don't have to put it away, kind of stupid. If I put it away, but then I have some brushes, um, hand sanitizer, some, it's a 10. This I need to redo and like refill, but they're like Q-tips and um, cotton rounds. I have some micellar water, some brush cleanser, and then these are for derma rolling. This is my derma roller that I use, and this is alcohol. I like to just spray it with alcohol, so it's super sanitary. Then these are my most used jewelry that I do, along with this little feather that I just got from a subscription box. And then over here, it's pretty chaotic. I have way too much stuff on the top of my vanity, but honestly, I don't care that much. If I don't see it, I like won't use it. So I try to put as much as I can up here that I wanna use up so that I'll remember to use it. So here I have my um, mirror that I use every day to do my makeup. It's just on top of this little plastic thing. It just helps me see better. And then I have my most used brushes here in this little skeleton head thing. And back there I have some tissues and then this is supposed to be a skincare fridge. Honestly, I don't really use it that much for skincare. I just have like a jade roller, a primer, some overnight masks. And then usually what I end up doing is I fill this bottom part with mini water bottles because guys, cold water hits so differently after a hot shower, like I need it. So I like stock this little fridge up with water and I didn't know how much I needed it until I have it. So yeah, that's what my skincare fridge is for, for just water. Um, and then here I have one of those little sky night things. I don't know, I got this a really long time ago from Amazon. I review stuff on Amazon and they send me stuff to review. This is one of the things they sent me to review and I actually really love it. So that just stays there. And then the final side of the room is right here. Mostly it's just this lamp. Um, so on the top I have a speaker. I have some stuff to smudge like Palo Santo and Sage. Then here I have some more sprays. Um, one of them is like a shoe spray that's like made out of essential oils um, and a yoga mat spray. And then that one is just an essential oil spray um, blend. Then here I have some books and then I have a picture of me and my dog Fonzie. Well, my mom's dog, he lives at my mom's house, but he's so cute. He's a little Italian greyhound. And then down here, I have some lotions. I have the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, the big size and the mini size. And then I also have a Body Shop Ginger Body Lotion. Oh my God, guys, I've never talked that much in my whole life. So this is my room again, a 360. I love it here, it's so comfortable. I'm really gonna miss having my own bedroom for my stuff just because where we go next, we're probably going to downsize and do an apartment, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I love this space though. I've had so much fun here and I've enjoyed having my own little space to just practice and do whatever I want. So yeah, that is everything. If you guys have any questions about where I got anything, let me know down below. I'll do my best to remember where I got everything. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little space. I know I'll definitely be watching this in the future. Like future me will be watching past me's room and just kind of reliving everything because it's about time to start packing up this room. And I'm a little sad, but I'm excited to see where we go next. I will keep you guys posted because where we're looking to move is actually really, really cool and has a ton of awesome history. So if we do end up moving there, there'll be a ton of more videos to come. But until then, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.